Hi, it's Barton here. I'm just going to show you an interesting case of a 35 year old who had two episodes of right middle lobe pneumonia. I'll show you the x-ray, uh, the CT that identified the cause for that and then the bronchoscopic findings with the final pathology. So this is the chest x-ray showing consolidation in the right mid zone with not a very clear right heart border suggesting that this is in the right middle lobe, left lung is clear. Given that there had been two episodes of pneumonia, a CT was performed. So the CT showing normal lung fields here, but as we scroll down, there's the main carina to the right main bronchus. Right upper lobe is patent and bronchus intermedius is clear. But here we are at the proximal right main, middle lobe bronchus is an obstructing lesion here with only a very small uh, gap to allow airflow and you can see some distal consolidation collapse here in the lateral right middle lobe extending out there so there's clearly what looks like an endobronchial lesion although this could be mucus plugging it is more likely to be a solid lesion given that there's been a couple of episodes of pneumonia uh, and also some evidence of collapse suggesting it's been there for a while. So bronchoscopy is certainly indicated and we'll have a look at the bronchoscopic images. This is the bronchoscopy looking down the right main bronchus showing that the right upper lobe is patent, bronchus intermedius. And there's the right middle lobe there on the left and you can see a vascular tumour almost completely obstructing the lumen of the right middle lobe bronchus with some purulent looking mucus coming from behind it. The right lower lobe is patent. So endobronchial biopsies of that right middle lobe lesion confirmed that this in, was in fact a carcinoid tumour. This is probably the most common uh, form of tumour in young people, especially in their 30s, and is a common cause for airway obstruction. And so this was an important finding, especially in someone who had had two episodes of pneumonia in the same area of the lung. He went on to have a right middle lobectomy, so had resection of the tumour and the right middle lobe, which has been able to achieve a cure and a very good outcome for him. All right, hopefully you found that interesting. Uh, it's a good case demonstrating the importance of uh, further investigating people who've had uh, pneumonia more than once, especially when that's in the same area of the lung. All right, see ya. Yeah.